is here, as promised, right here in the flesh. The here being zoom on in now. Zoom on in. He's the guy in the middle uh, in our booth on the 50-yard line here. Rich Eisen along with Mike Mayock and from the Ohio State University, Joey Bosa. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. How are you? Good to have me. What you think of the day? Uh, rough, long day, but um, happy I got through it. Think I did pretty well. Um, move on to pro day. What time? What time did the alarm clock go off? Five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah. Is that the average time for um, your alarm clock this week? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, one day I was up by three, but uh, what do you mean? Not much. Why were you up by three? Yeah, we had a drug test at four thirty. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's stuff people don't, don't understand. Well, no, that's because that, that's what we were talking about, Mike, is yeah. that the, the drills, you finally get to hit something, mm -hmm. finally get to run around yeah. after a long week. Yeah. So, But you're, you know. you're, pretty, you're pretty blown out by the time you get to the workout. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, wh when you were in inter interviews, who would you interview with? Which um, teams? I interviewed with a bunch of different teams. I had 13 interviews. Uh, was, so Was Tennessee one of them? Tennessee, the Browns, uh, New Orleans. Baltimore Cowboys bunch of, okay. uh, I can't think so of all pretty pretty much what you're, you're naming top teams at, yeah. a, at a at top of the draft and what was the most bizarre question you were asked Joe <clears throat> they they kept asking me that what was the most bizarre question but I, they were I, asking yeah, you that question yeah, I mean it was pretty straightforward it was what I expected I was I was prepared coming in the meetings and I think they all went really well so there was no head scratchers for no, it wasn't too bad Okay. <laughs> Good answer, Joe. Yeah. But by the way, so off your tape, I look at you and I go, I think he's probably at 270 going to run 47. That's yeah. about what I thought you'd run. Were you disappointed with your time? Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to run low 47, high 46. That was right. the goal coming right. into it. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm just, just disappointed. That, you know what? I'm coming really. to your pro day, by the mm -hmm. way. So you got a second chance, and we're going to put it on the NFL mm -hmm. Network. Yeah, I'm we'll, looking for like four, six, eight would be awesome. Yeah, we'll see. What we'll see think? if I run. <laughs> exactly. I right. You got to make that decision, right? Yeah, we'll see what, what? the what the team's times are with their hands. Okay. And see if, well, they, if they come out pretty well, I probably won't run. And that makes sense. You, you don't have to run another one for the rest of your life yeah. if you don't. You yeah. don't want to right mm -hmm. now. What we're going to do, Joe, I want you to look right in here. And we're going to do what we call an X and O. And this is my breakdown, basically, after watching about five of your tapes, okay? And the first thing that struck me was, okay, get off and then hand use with that right tackle. Look, look at the hand use. Talk about that a little bit as you get to the quarterback. Uh, well, tackle short set me pretty yep. And again, the inside arm yeah. here, right, on the bull? Get a long arm in there. They pretty much can't stop it. And how about this, the inside move and then down the line of scrimmage to the back. Yep. Easy one when you get to stun that big gap. Talk this one now. Um, I kind of was just reacting. I never really <laughs> play, saw, saw that play in practice from the three techniques, so I was ready to pass rush. And, uh, and he showed just, up in just front of you. Just kind of reacting. Right, yeah. right. You just mm -hmm. get rid of one guy, get rid of the other, and there's yeah. the running back. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. If I asked you what you do the best as an edge rusher and what you need the most work on, what would you say? Um, I think I use my hands. Better than better than anybody in the country right now. Um, I just need to continue working on all my skill sets. Uh, just be consistent all around. I, I don't want to just. I don't want to be good at one thing and not right. good at the other. I want to consistently get better in the run, in the pass, whatever it is. So I've I've room to improve everywhere. Is there anybody you've modeled your game off over the years? Uh, not not specifically. Um, I like watching. Uh, one of one of my coaches guys he plays for the chiefs now um tom Bahali. he's he's fun to watch the way he uses his hands and flips his hips but i, I try to i try to be my own player well the mcginnis down the field you got a question for joey yeah joey uh i was down here and i watched you uh up close and personal we're kind of in the same boat coming out tell the fans and people how tough it is to transition from a guy who has his hand in the dirt and going forward to some of the other drills you had to do. You were one of 12 guys that had to do some of the uh, hybrid drills. Yeah, I, I felt pretty comfortable. Um, I thought I looked pretty well, pretty good out there. Um, I've dropped in, in college, so so I, I, I'm used to flipping my hips and getting my hips open. So it wasn't too bad of a transition. You, you had a nice drop against Minnesota yeah. out of a three points. Are you thinking yeah. of that one, right? Yeah. Flashed under with the quarterback, and you should have picked it, though. Yeah, should have. Right? Or your hands. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and how about your former teammate? You know, we were talking an awful lot about Joey Bow, so let's talk about Noah Spence and, and give us an overview of his game. Um, really proud of him. I'm happy he got he turned turned it around and now he's now he's here. Um, 
He's a freak. He's he's flying off the edge. Nobody could really touch his speed around the edge. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get to play with him another year because that would have been that would have been scary. But uh, I think he's a great guy. He's he's really good turning his life around. And I think he did well to get. Who else here that you got to meet for the first time that you? Enjoyed meeting and um, all the guys, all the guys in my group. I got to spend time with and, and the group leaders as well. They were all good people, all all happy to be here. So I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Uh, got to surround myself with some good people. Yeah, I guess you get to meet guys when you wake up with them at 4:30 in the yeah. morning and just sit around and wait. Yeah. Wait till somebody hands you. No, not much talking going on. That all no, just you staring into space. Yeah. The good news is it's over. Yeah. We really appreciate you coming up here, and you're on your way home, man. Yep. Finally. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Good to see you, Joey. You got, that's Joey Bosa. Thanks, man. Thank you.